Hey everybody, thanks for being here. Well, I wanted to apologize ahead of time because there are a few audio glitches and a few video stutters in this video, but it's not too bad. This was my first time at an event like this for tools and I really wasn't sure what was going to be allowed as far as recording and I didn't wanna be in anybody's way. So I decided not to take a bunch of equipment. So aside of the Rode Video Micro and the tripod that I used afterwards to sit down and talk about this event, this was all done on my phone. So without any further ado, here we go. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, we'll get back to talking about everything technology and tool related soon, but I wanted to quickly give you an overview of the event that I went to in Columbus, Ohio at Ohio Power Tool. There was a lot going on, so let me tell you about it. First of all, let's talk about the vendors that were there. When I first got there, Rigid and Makita were there. I didn't really get an opportunity to talk with anyone from Rigid, but I did talk to the Makita reps. I got to handle and play with some of their tools and I can understand why people like them. Next up, Knipex took the place of Rigid. I wasn't really quite sure how to pronounce it, but I talked to the rep and he said that they pronounce it Knipex. I've heard people say Nipex, but they're saying Knipex. So I guess the next time I'm cutting something, I'll call the tool that I'm using a knife or a Kniff. Makita tore down and Milwaukee took their place. They also had some really cool, knowledgeable, and friendly reps. They had drills, drivers, saws, and pack out that you can handle, play with, and just in general check out. DeWalt also set up a tent, and although they're not allowed by Stanley Black & Decker to be interviewed on camera, they were really knowledgeable, really friendly, and they had just a ton of stuff. They had the Tough Box 2.0, they had actually some 1.0 there as well. They had just a ton, just a table full of tools. So that was really cool. When Knipex tore down, Klein Tools took their place. Again, really friendly and knowledgeable rep, a lot of cool tools to just play with. They had an inspection camera that you could stick inside of stuff and see how it looked. They actually had two different ones that you could choose from and play with. Milwaukee tore down and Metabo took their place. I really didn't get a chance to talk much to anybody at Metabo because I was too busy stuffing my face with the free food that they provided. When I first got there, I met Rob from Belts and Boxes, and he's a really cool guy. He told me about how Belts and Boxes started, and we stood there and talked for a few minutes, and like I said, he's just really cool. I also met Clint from the Tool Review Zone, and again, he's just a really cool guy. I was really impressed with just how down to earth and just how real he is. Really cool guy. I hope that we can hang out again. I also met Vince from BCG Construction, and he's a really cool guy too. Someone left a reply to a comment that I left on the Philly Fixed channel. They asked me if Vince is really like in real life like he is on camera. And he is, he's a really cool guy. I thought it was cool that despite Vince having nearly half a million subscribers, he took the time at the end of the day to ask me if I got content for my channel. I just thought that was really cool. Just again, they all seem to be genuinely good guys. All the employees at Ohio Power Tool were really cool, really friendly, and of course I got to meet other viewers of these YouTube channels that I'm a fan of. So overall, I got to play with some cool tools and meet some cool people. If you ever get the chance to go to an event like this in the future, I would definitely recommend that you go. I hope you enjoyed this look at the event that I went to. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you down there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. first got there I met Rob from Belt and Boxes and he's a really cool guy we sit we sit. when I first got there I met when I first got there I met Rob from Belts and Boxes and he's a really cool guy he told me about how belts 
when I first got there, I met Rob from Belts and Boxes, and he's a really cool guy. He told me about how Box and Belts... <laughs> yeah, guys, gotta wait for the neighbors to stop yelling at their kids, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was cool that despite the fact that he's got nearly half a million... Oh, uh, now we got...